again, the analogy was, let's say you worked in a smartphone factory and your job is to write part of the instruction manual to give to the manufacturing plant to make these phones. And so your boss comes to you one day and says, I've got a project for you, I want you to write the chapter in this manual that explains how these phones are gonna download apps from the web. And you say, no problem, that's what I do. So your boss is walking away, he comes back and he says, well, wait a minute, I forgot one thing. Um, when you write your chapter on how to download apps, you have to write it in such a way that when you read it backwards, it explains how this phone is going to play MP3s in videos. <laughs> wow. And you'd be looking at him thinking, I mean, you're kidding, right? This is impossible. He's like, yeah. no, I'm serious. This is what we have to do. We only have so much room to work with. We've got to get a lot of information crammed in there. Well, that's humanly impossible. Not only is it humanly impossible, you can't even program a computer to write an entire chapter of wow. separate sets of instructions. But that's what we're seeing in the DNA. You read it, read it one way, an entire chapter, a set of instructions to make all these proteins, and you read it backwards, a totally separate set of proteins to do something completely different.